Welcome to Print Ready 101, a series of instructional videos from Compass Printing Plus that helps you get your files ready for print, of course. So today we're looking at Microsoft Publisher 2010. Now you may have Microsoft Publisher 2007. If you do, these settings that you see today are also available in your version of Publisher. They're just in a different area. So consult your software's documentation, your help file, and you can figure out where these settings are in your program. You should be able to follow along. You should be able to figure this out uh, relatively easily. So what we're going to do today, basically, is we're going to save this file for print. We're not going to concern ourselves with some of the other problems that you can run into with files that are being sent off for print. This one, for instance, has a white border all the way around, so it doesn't have a bleed, so you don't have to worry about that. We're going to tackle some of those issues in later editions of Print Ready 101. But today, we just want to get you to save your file so that it can be printed exactly the way that you're seeing it here on the screen. So let's do that today. First of all, we are going to want to save our publisher file. I haven't done that yet. As you can see, it says it's uh, Publication 2. So I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to save this. I'm not going to make any changes, and I'm just going to save it as a postcard. All right. So let's uh, save that first. And then once that's done, we're going to go back to that file menu. And if you come down here, you're going to see a little box that says Commercial Print Settings. This is what we want to concern ourselves with today. There are three different uh, little areas down here. Uh, this might be off your screen, but this is Registration Settings. We're not going to worry about that one. We're just going to worry about these two. This one's important. It's called Choose Color Model. When you click on this, you're going to see that this is set for Process Colors plus Spot Colors, which actually isn't a bad mode, but there is a better one. Oftentimes, though, you're going to see it set for this, any color RGB, which is best for desktop printers, your home printer. All right, This will not work well with a commercial print house like Compass Printing. All right, You're not going to get the best quality if you have that selected. Will it print? Yes. Will it be close? Probably, but it's not going to be uh, the best that it can be. This is the setting that we want, all right? It's going to be Process Colors CMYK. This is best for digital printing at a commercial printer. You're going to have to say OK. It says all spot color tints will be converted to process colors. That's all right. We're going to say OK. We're going to say OK again. And then we're going to go back to our commercial print settings. That's set and ready to go. And we're going to go down to Manage Embedded Fonts. This is also quite important. You're going to see this little checkbox is already checked. It says Do Not Embed Common System Fonts. That's okay for us. Uh, we have all the common system fonts, so we don't need those embedded. It just uh, takes up unnecessary space. But we are going to click on this uh, checkbox right here. It says Embed True Type Fonts When Saving Publication. It's very important. That way your fonts won't change, which can really mess up your design. Again, you're going to say OK, and that's all set. So now we're ready to save, and we're going to save this in the portable document format. Uh, PDF is what it's called. PDF, make sure that your fonts are in there, uh, your pictures are at optimal quality, etc., etc., etc. You're going to get pretty much what you see on the screen. There is some variation in color, of course, because your screen can't reproduce the same colors that uh, a printer can, but it'll be pretty close. So we're going to click on Save As. And again, we're going to see the Save As dialog box, but this time we're going to make a key change. All right, We're going to come down to this Save As type. We're going to drop that down, and we're going to go down the list, and lo and behold, there's PDF. And that's the format we want to save this in. We're going to click on that, and we're almost ready to save. There is one other uh, change that we're going to want to make. You see this little button here that says Options. It's set to high quality printing, which will be pretty good, quite honestly. But we're going to click on Options, and over here, you're going to see that this is going to set everything perfectly for a commercial press. This is what we want. So we're going to change that. We're going to hit OK, and we know we're going to get optimal quality. So we are going to save our publication as a PDF. Here we go. And you see it's publishing. Up on the screen pops our PDF. Uh, this has been saved to wherever you decided to save it. And you can send that off to Compass Printing and get your postcard printed right away. Now make sure you stay tuned and check back with us uh, every once in a while. We will be uh, coming up with more editions of Print Ready 101 to make sure that your files are ready for print. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.